let's expose this guy once again. So Cambosis wasn't a legitimate opponent coming off of a win, even if it was a controversial win, uh, for Lomachenko to win a vacant title. But Santa Cruz, who Shakur Stevenson fought, was he a legitimate champion, uh, a legitimate opponent? He's never been a world champion. He's never beaten anyone at the level of Lopez. He's never fought for a world title. He has lost on his resume already. Is Frank Martin a legitimate opponent for Tank Davis, who was elevated by the WBA to the champion? He didn't actually fight anyone. Literally didn't fight anyone, but was elevated to the champion. So him not fighting anyone, but that was deserved of him being elevated to the WBA super title. And, and so you could say that Frank Martin is his first opponent to justify his move up in that weight division. Um, who the fuck is Frank Martin? Who's Frank Martin beat? Frank Martin's never beaten a top 10 lightweight. He's never got a quality win on his resume against a world champion. He's never been a world champion. He's never been a unified world champion. Tank Davis has never been a unified champion. Um, Navarrete is fighting an unknown Ukrainian guy who's primarily fought in Europe for a vacant WBO title. So this guy is not upset about him earning an opportunity over, say, a guy like William Cepeda, who probably should have been mandated by the WBO as an opponent for Navarrete. Right? That would have made more sense since Zepeda is literally the number one ranked opponent for every single sanctioning body. It would just make sense since he is still the number one ranked opponent for the WBO that he was the one that earned the opportunity to fight Navarrete for that vacant WBO title. But he wasn't. But he's not upset about that. He's upset about Lomachenko fighting a world champion who was unified, who has... A, a, a pound for pound quality victory on his resume, right? Whether you want to give Cambosis credit for that or not, that was the kind of victory he did get by beating Tier from Lopez. Whether Lopez was healthy or whatever the scenario was, was literally. Then we look at a guy like Boots Ennis. Boots Ennis was just gift wrapped an IBF title, which was stripped from Bud Crawford. And now he's going to fight Crowley a guy who's been inactive, has a pretty good resume against lower tier, uh, top 15, top 10 level type of welterweight fighters. Is he really deserving of an opportunity? Is he? Like you can go up and down the boxing rankings from 105 pounds all the way to heavyweight and consistently see dudes that are fighting opponents that aren't great opponents, aren't as good as George Cambosis, aren't ex-world champions, don't have the quality of victory like a tier from a Lopez on the resume, right? Um, took losses, but took losses to guys that were pound for pound, whether we're talking to Haney or Lomachenko. So those are the three losses you took to two fighters who legitimately are considered pound for pound, but yet that exposes you as being not a good opponent. Explain that fucking to me, because it makes no sense. We see the same bullshit with Canelo Alvarez. It doesn't matter who he fights, they're all not that good. But yet, David Benavides, when he was a champion, didn't fight anybody, and no one gave a fuck. No one cared about all these guys out there who were cherry picking low level opponents to win vacant titles, or even low level opponents to defend world titles. But this guy's upset that Lomachenko got an opportunity to fight George Cambosis in a fight that obviously did really good numbers in Australia. Sold out the venue. It's exactly what they knew it was gonna be. It was gonna be a successful fight in Australia. Lomachenko, a top 135 pound fighter against George Cambosis in front of his hometown. The same reason that Devin Haney had two fights in Australia because they knew that financially those fights were going to be profitable. They were going to make money. They were going to make sense. You couldn't have fought Cambosis in the States because those fights never would have generated as much money 
as they did in Australia. So we understand why the fight was made. Money. But yet, a guy like this doesn't want to give Lomachenko credit. Didn't think Lomachenko deserved an opportunity to get a world title fight, even though Lomachenko literally petitioned after the fight against Devin Haney and all four sanctioning bodies literally put him as the number one ranked opponent in every single sanctioning body. Why? Well, because they too felt that the fight was so competitive and so close that he deserved an opportunity to redeem himself. This is no different than when Deontay Wilder got knocked the fuck out. <clears throat> Literally got knocked the fuck out by Tyson Fury. He was still considered the number one opponent at WBC. He didn't drop in the WBC rankings, coming off of a knockout loss. Stephen Fulton has just been elevated at 126 pounds to the number one mandatory opponent, I think, um, for Raymond Ford. So I think that's the WBA. Yet he's never even fought at 126 pounds yet and is coming off of a knockout loss to a newie. I mean, if you want to look at what sanctioning bodies do, the corruption involved, how fighters earn opportunities that they don't really deserve, don't have to fight other fighters ranked in the top 15 to be elevated into top positions in boxing. I mean, let's be fair. Let's call everybody out on it. But of course, that's not what this guy's doing. He's just trying to, of course, do, the, do what he always does, which is attack a non-black fighter who has a lot of success in the sport of boxing, whether it's a Canelo, a Roman Gonzalez, a Golovkin, an Inouye, a Kovalev. It doesn't matter. If you're not black and you're not American and you're super successful and getting a lot of attention and people are putting you on pound for pound rankings, this guy is gonna have an issue. He's gonna go out of his way to discredit you and hate on you, but then accuse everyone else of doing exactly what he's doing. Yet that's not true. Just look at his videos compared to mostly everybody else, everybody else out there. He's doing that, not other people. You don't see people going out of their way to the extent he does to specifically attack certain fighters. Like, just look at this, right? He's gonna try to compare Devin Haiti beating Linares to Lomachenko beating Cambosis and how I wanna praise Lomachenko for beating Cambosis, but I didn't wanna praise Haney for beating Linares. The irony is this guy didn't wanna praise Lomachenko for beating Linares when he moved up to his third weight division, fought the number one ranked fighter at the weight class, Linares, who was making his seventh title offense of his lightweight title. Lomachenko didn't deserve credit for fighting Linares. But yet, Haney did. The Linares that Lomachenko knocked out went up to 140, got knocked out in his first fight at 140, came back down in weight, and then obviously was supposed to be an opponent for Ryan Garcia. People like this were critical of Ryan Garcia cherry picking Linares. Literally, go watch the videos, they're out there. People were literally attacking Ryan Garcia for trying to make an in-house fight with Linares, which made tons of sense. I mean, it wasn't a world title fight. At this point, Ryan Garcia was just building his brand. Linares was a big name and was trying to redeem himself and get back into the conversation. Devin Haney, on the other hand, was a world title contender, maybe a champion at this time, who picked a guy literally who had just been knocked out several times in his last few fights. Cambosis has never been knocked out by anybody. <laughs> right? So to try to equate this as a similar situation, this is the kind of deflecting and double standard he tries to project all the time. Yet, you know, you have to really be an idiot because we know the reason you're doing it because Devin Haney's black, Lomachenko's white. So once again, you're pushing a whole racial double standard, but yet there is no double standard.
Lenoris wasn't elevated by the sanctioning body into a vacant world title fight. He was specifically picked by Devin Haney. And this was coming off of two losses in his last three fights, both by knockout, before Devin Haney fought him and went the distance with him and got hurt and held like crazy against him. Sort of exposing that Haney was a bit chinny even at that time. See, you can't make this kind of shit up. Me calling it out is not me trying to force you to like Lomachenko. I know you're never going to like Lomachenko. You only said good things about Lomachenko when you tried to use him to benefit Devin Haney's career. When you tried to push Devin Haney into the pound-for-pound -pound number two position in boxing above Anui and Yusik. So then you used the quality of victory against Lomachenko as a way to elevate him. Yet you never give Lomachenko that credit when you're just talking about Lomachenko. You only give Lomachenko that credit when you're trying to shine on Devin Haney. Once again, exposing your double standard, your hypocrisy. But this is not a surprise. If you watch this guy's channel, you know exactly what to expect. There was no need to come out and be critical of Lomachenko after beating George Cambosis. No need at all. But he made multiple videos trying to downplay, discredit Lomachenko in the build-up for the fight. So of course there's no surprise that post-fight he came out and tried to do the same thing. Imagine if Lomachenko would have struggled with George Cambosis. Then, you know, you can only imagine the narratives that would have been pushed then. And of course, this guy is going to come out saying that Lomachenko got to fight Shakur Stevenson next. But if he's not that good, he's a hype job, and he doesn't deserve all these opportunities, then Shakur should fight Tank Davis, right? Like, go fight the guy who deserves the fight. Stop fucking clout chasing Lomachenko, who obviously is just not that good, and... and you know, doesn't deserve a big fight with Shakur Stevenson. But you know that's not what's going to happen. He's going to be out there calling Lomachenko literally a duck if he doesn't fight either Tank or Shakur. Yet, one of those two guys is not going to be fighting that level of opponent either. And they won't be considered a duck because they never are considered ducks. Because there's a different level of criticism for non-black fighters by guys like him. But leave your comments below. Go watch his video. Make up your own mind. You know, see if he says anything that actually makes any fucking sense. If it's valid or not. And anything he says about what I said, don't believe it. Just come and watch my videos yourself. Because he lies like crazy. He says I say things that I definitely have never said. And you can watch my videos for yourself. And you will see that I didn't say any of those things. But I'll leave it to you to make up your own mind and watch things and determine your own opinions. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.